I'm sad. I'm very sad. The Red Sox have just traded Mookie Betts, the number two player in baseball, in my opinion. No, that's a lot of people's opinion. To the Los Angeles Dodgers. And I'll go over the full trade afterwards, but let me just get this out. I am very sad. As a Red Sox fan, as a Mookie Betts fan, as a baseball fan. I'm going to miss Mookie. I'll go into some other scenarios later, but I am going to miss him, and this does hurt me. All right, the return, I think, is fine, but I am sad. And we have to understand that there's more to baseball than just dollars and cents and players. This guy was an icon in Boston, and the guy I loved watching every day. So I am very sad about this, and it does hurt. But now for the actual deal, Mookie Betts, David Price, and Cash went to the Dodgers probably around... 30 million, 36 million to cover half of David Price's contract. Minnesota, the third team in the deal, gets Kent to Maeda, and the Red Sox get Alex Verdugo and Bruce Dar Gratterall. So we'll go into that. So, Dodgers, we'll start with them. This is probably the move they need to make to get over the hump. Of course, they probably already are over the hump. I think the David Price move is a little more impactful, even though Mookie Betts is so good. I think that they don't really need Mookie Betts as much as they need another great starting pitcher. And I don't say David Price is a great starting pitcher, but I think he's well above three of their pitchers right now. You have Kershaw, Bueller, Price, Urias, and Wood. I think it's a, f- a very sign World Series winning starting five, I think, easy. Minnesota, I-, I-, I think they're the big losers in this deal. I don't know what they're doing. I get they need pitching, but Bruce Dar Gradwell, Gratterall is a stud reliever, throws a 101 singer and an unbelievable slider. And Kent Maeda, he's up and down with the Dodgers. You've seen him perform poorly in the playoffs over the past couple years. I don't love this move for them. I don't think it puts them over the hump. I think they were already uh, going to win the NL, AL Central, NL Central. But I don't know how much this move helps them. They pretty much have... A bunch of free wins with the Royals and Tigers in their division as my phone falls. And for the Red Sox, my team, we saw, we got Alex Verdugo and Bruce Dog Radaron. So Alex Verdugo is a stud outfielder. This man was two-time minor league player of the year. Hit, I think, at a 900 OPS, uh, being called up before he's hurt. He's probably not going to start the year. He's got some back problems, so just expect a couple weeks before he can make his debut. But he's an unbelievable hitter, got great power, great contact, and seems to be like a great guy to have around the clubhouse. I, I love the Alex Verdugo part. He, I'm not confident about his defense. I don't think he'll be able to play right field being a lefty. I don't love having lefties in right fields because you just have that limited range. I think you might see Jackie Bradley move over to right and put Verdugo in center and keep Ben in left because he's also a lefty, obviously. And then Bruce Dar Gratterall. Uh, one of my favorite players, one of the best names to say, is a unbelievable 21-year-old, going to be a reliever, so the Red Sox really need relief help, and they got it. Can throw a 101 sinker down in the zone. It's filthy. It's one of the best you'll ever see. And you can also throw a nasty slider that can break hard. And this kid's only 21 years old. He had a 1.92 ERA in 7-0 in the minors last year. He struggled a little in the majors, 4.66 ERA, but that happens. It, People take time to adjust. He probably wasn't even ready to go up yet. I'm not worried about that. Also, Jock Peterson was traded for Luis Rendifo. I don't know what the Angels are doing. Couldn't tell you. But if I had to give a grade to each team, the Dodgers get an A+, only giving up Verdugo and Kent Maeda for Mookie Betts and David Price. The Minnesota gets an F. No idea what they're doing. I always give them a D. I it, it wasn't a good trade for them. I don't I don't know what what in the world they could possibly be doing. And the Red Sox are going to get a B. And here's why they don't get an F, because the return doesn't seem like anything for second-best player in baseball and a, st- a really good pitcher. Mookie Betts, we offered him $300 million. And if you don't return, if you don't want to play for $300 million like immediately and counter with 420 nice, it, it is a lot that they have to worry about, and they're very worried he's going to go. So this was really their only option. They tried, they exhausted all of their methods. I believe that. This isn't a stingy team. They they tried their best to re-sign him, but he won't. I don't even know if he'll re-sign with the Dodgers. I've, I'm under the, like, the old Bill Belichick thing. You trade a guy on a one-year deal, and then he re-signs with you. Which, if the Red Sox offer him $400 million next year, which is a 
real possibility if you move Evaldi and some other guys, he could come back. I, I don't think this is going to happen. Don't don't even have the hope it will, but I think it's a possibility. I think the best suitors right now with the Dodgers coming back next year, maybe a team, maybe the Angels, if they wanted, you could have Joe Adele, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts in the outfield. You'd have the best outfield in baseball by tenfold. There's not a lot of other suitors for a guy going to make, make four hundred million dollars. Really, no one in the AL. Maybe a couple NL teams. Maybe the Cardinals, Cubs. Maybe, maybe the Padres. They want to shell out a lot more money. Although they already have Machado, they already have Hosmer, they already have Myers. It's just unless they get move all those some two of those guys, they won't be able to. So I think it's an interesting deal all around. I don't think it's a bad deal for the Red Sox. They had to do it. I would have liked Jeter Downs as well. I'm surprised he wasn't in the deal, but that's what happens when you try to clear David Price's contract. I believe they're now under the luxury tax, which is what they wanted. And if you want to commit to that, that's fine. They did. They did what they had to do. I fully understand. I'm not going to be one of those Red Sox fans. Oh, yeah, you're so cheap and stingy. Like, what do you... Uh, no, no, no. That's not how this works. Uh, they can do what they want. They're a professional sports franchise. I... High and Bloom did great things in Tampa Bay. I trust he knows what he's doing with young talent. He found guys like Nick Anderson out of nowhere, who is now a top you could argue, eight reliever in baseball from obscurity, and he's just found him. I, it's interesting. Andrew Friedman, also former Ray, so maybe he knows what he's doing as well. I think he's just trying to win now. If I had to make a World Series prediction out of this, I would say Dodgers-Yankees, Dodgers in six. But who really knows? We'll see at the deadline. Dodgers need another reliever. Yankees need maybe a fifth starter. Maybe another bat. Although I don't really think they really need all that much. But we'll see how guys get hurt. See how guys progress. And see how the season goes on. So that's my take on Mookie Betts. What I, I'd love to hear what yours is down in the comments. And consider subscribing. I also haven't said thank you for what, three, four... 3,400 subs, which is pretty pretty remarkable, like 1,600 in the last month, which is double what I've had before, and I just can't believe that, and I'm just so thankful for all that, over 3 million views, which is super, super crazy, especially, like, it's just amazing, um, that's all I gotta say, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully, also buy some sports cases, link in description please help me i don't make money